how uh, concerned were you about the knee when you left the game Sunday, and how do you feel today? Um, yeah, I mean, it was just something that happened, and I took care of it, and um, I'm starting to feel better. Obviously, uh, with Tua injured, what was your thought process when you saw him down and struggling? Yeah, you know, I felt pretty bad. Um, every time you see the quarterback go down and it's your fault, it's a bad deal. As a leader on the offensive line, what can you say to these guys just to kind of, you know, elevate their game, I guess, this, this week? I mean, you know, you just got to stay positive. You got to put one foot in front of the other and get better each day. And how can I get better? And how can I make the people around me better? And, you know, one day at a time. Jesse, Jacoby said after the game he did not view himself as a backup in the mentality of a starter. Do you see that in practice? Have you, the kind of guy you've been around virtually every day in training camp in, in, in yeah. a few weeks? You know, Jacoby, uh, he brings a lot to the team. He, he's, a vo he's a vocal guy. He's a good leader. Um, you know, he's, a, he's been a quarterback in this league for a while. You know, I think he should view himself as a, you know, as a candidate. And I think he does a good job. Jesse, there's obviously been a lot of focus on the offensive line after Sunday. Where is this line? How do you fix it? How far are you from fixing it? Uh, yeah, like, like I said, one day at a time. Um, just trying to make myself better, make the people around me better. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll see see how we do. I know you guys probably try to ignore that, but does, does it ever set in, you know, when, you, when, when it gets heavy as far as the criticism of, of the group or individuals? Yeah, we try to, you know, leave all that stuff outside these doors and we focus on each other and what's being said in our rooms and uh, between coaches and whatnot. And so, um, you know, we kind of pick, pick each other up in that aspect. But no, we don't really pay too much attention to the media. Jesse is the guy in the room that everyone looks up to as the veteran, the leader. Do you have to lift the spirits of the young offensive linemen at all this week after some of the, you know, probably toughest moments they've had as pros? Yeah, you know, it obviously wasn't a good outing. Um, you know, we all kind of preach the same thing, you know, you know, one play at a time, let's get better. You know, let, we, let's make the corrections, let's watch the film and uh, let's fix our technique issues. But uh, everybody's, you know, has their issues and it's day by day, let's fix them. Flo mentioned that there's going to be competition, obviously, and maybe some shuffling going on. How does how do you approach that as you know, a lineman, not maybe not knowing for sure where you'll be yeah. Sunday? And it's the same old thing, you know, it's wherever the club needs me, that's where I'll be. What's one thing that uh, you'd like to see about the offense keep in mind to help limit the number of free rushers? Um, I don't know. I, I think, you know, our scheme was good. I just think, don't think we executed it. You know, that's the only reason. I think uh, these coaches do a, a really good job of putting a plan in place for us, and it's our job to execute. I mean, that's you know how the trades off. So, you know, it's up to us. Jesse, we heard that you know, the Bills brought the type of pressure that you guys expected last week, with a couple new wrinkles in there. I guess what did they do differently that maybe you didn't see on film prior to the game? I don't know. I didn't hear that, but um, you know, it's a good football team. They got good defense. Um, we didn't play no, nowhere near we should have. And just got to do better. Jesse, I don't know. I don't want to pretend that we know everything about a line play, but as far as the communication, what what is typically the uh, the process you go about when someone has to slide protection left or right based on someone coming? Yeah, it all depends on the structure of the the protection and uh, where our point would be, and um, you know where where that play's going. So it depends on the structure. And it's nothing crazy. Well, close that. Biggest difference going from Tua to Jacoby is obviously left-handed to right-handed. Obviously, for a receiver, that's spinning the ball, stuff like that. As an offensive lineman, the adjustment just left-handed to right-handed is what? It's just football. You know, it's, it's another another thing of the game, and I don't even really think about that too much. I mean, there's different players, but um, you still got to block them. You know, that's, that's the key. So Robert, the club needs you in the event of possible uh, shuffling. How much does it help the experience that you have in multiple positions uh, for situations like that? Yeah, you know, I don't, it's, it depends on how I play too, so I can't really speak too much on that.